I'll be honest with you guys, I have not messed with the headset in a long time. If you guys have followed the channel, you know I definitely recommend picking up your own pair of headphones and a separate mic. That way you get the best quality on both ends. But I do have to admit, it is a little bit of an investment. Um, and everybody can't afford that, everybody doesn't want to. So what happens if you only want a single you know, all in one solution, or you, you know, maybe you're a console pleb, you don't want to spend all that kind of money. Well, uh, Corsair actually just sent this out to me. This is their HS60 Pro Surround. Uh, we're going to take a look at this headset, see if, you know, it sounds good, if the mic is decent, and uh, whether it's worth your 70 bucks. As far as build quality goes on this headset, you do have this leather type material, which does have memory foam on the inside, on the headband, as well as the ear cups. This is an over-the-ear design, so you can kind of, you know, just slip it on there, slides on. It's pretty nice. Actually, pretty comfy, man. I used these for uh, one of my streams for a few hours, man, and I actually had no issues at all uh, in terms of comfort. They do extend, uh, you know, just the right size for me. I don't necessarily have a huge head, but I do have a little bit of hair up there, so I need something that, uh, you know, can kind of extend and get around this dome. <laughs> which these didn't have any issues with. You can kind of see it does have yellow accents around the uh, ear cup as well as the stitching uh, on the uh, ear pads and the uh, headband. Pretty decent looking headphone or a headset. Actually, it kind of reminds me of the HyperX Cloud 2s. Not a bad thing. Got a little bit of uh, aluminum there on the forks uh, as well as a volume control on one of the ear cups. So it doesn't have anything like in line on the actual cable itself. Um, they're right here on the back side. So you've got a mute for your microphone and then the volume control for the actual headset itself. Now the microphone is detachable. So if for any reason you didn't want to run the microphone, maybe it sucks. I don't know. We got to find that out. But, uh, you know, for whatever reason, if you want to take that off, you can. So you can just rock just the headphones like this. I don't know. Maybe you're taking these outside. Hopefully not. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you just got freedom, man. You got choices. This also has an optional USB sound card, which enables uh, 7.1 surround sound. Obviously, that is simulated. Uh, fortunately, that only works on PC. So if you wanted to use the surround sound with, you know, your PS4, for example, uh, you will not be able to do that. It's not officially supported. You'll have to plug this in into your controller and uh, just rock out that way. Now, I know you see the mesh here. You may think this is an open back design, but it's actually a closed back design. So this is kind of uh, sealed off. Once you put the headphones on, it does isolate you from your surroundings so it does kind of mute the sound a little bit which may not be a bad thing if you are in a noisy environment or uh, stuff like that uh, also people won't be able to hear what you are listening to as easy so you get a little bit of privacy uh, the only drawback I would say is for not having an open back design is that uh, you're not going to have that such a wide sound stage like you would on uh, you know an open back design so uh, there's there's give and takes on both, but uh, most heads are, are closed back, so it's not really a big deal there. Now this headset does have 50 millimeter drivers. It's got a 32 ohm impedance. Uh, a sensitivity of 111 dB and a frequency response of 20 Hertz to 20 kilohertz. Didn't have any issues at all driving these headphones when I was using just the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack here. Uh, I did get a little bit more volume using this directly into my PC rather than the USB dongle. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, with the USB dongle, I would say it was just a hair above comfortable listening level when I had it maxed out. Uh, but this gave me a little bit more range. So if you can use it this way, I'd probably recommend this unless you absolutely need the 7.1 surround sound. That'd be up to you. I personally didn't like it. I, I don't like simulated surround sound period on any headset. 
Uh, to me, it sounded like the mids were kind of subdued when listening that way, so I prefer the stereo sound. And as far as overall sound, period, these sound somewhat more on the warmer side. I know most headsets will have a V-shaped uh, sound. These don't necessarily have that. There is a little bit of emphasis on the bass, but the high end is not like super bright and crispy like that, which is not a bad thing for me, but... Uh, you know, it's going to kind of depend on your preference. I don't like looking around like, hey, who the hell's following me because the damn highs are so bright. And if for any reason you don't like the out-of-box experience, you can download the IQ software from Corsair. In fact, it's actually required in order to enable the 7.1 surround sound. So within the software, there are uh, several preset EQs that you can select. Um, you can actually customize your own as well to kind of you know, give it the sound that you're looking for. Uh, not necessarily a fan that you need to download the software in order to enable the surround sound. I feel like there should be some type of, you know, button on the dongle itself uh, in order to do that. Because, you know, what if you're using an OS that doesn't support the software or something like that? Uh, you know, you can have a bunch of situations. But for me, I would rather just boop, 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 rather than having to go on the software uh, and enable or disable that. So that's kind of a drawback for me. I'm sure by this point you guys probably want to know whether the microphone sucks or not. I've actually not listened to it yet, so let's go ahead and test that out now, and uh, you guys let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Okay, so here's a little sample of the microphone from the uh, Corsair headset. You guys let me know what you think it sounds like down in the comments below. Right now I do have the headset on 100% uh, in Windows. I do not have any automatic gain control enabled. And uh, hopefully I've got the microphone kind of in the right spot as far as uh, in relation to my mouth. Uh, looks like it's not really peaking or anything like that. So I'm hoping that it sounds really good. And uh, I don't have any issues with any like P's or B's or S's or whatever weird sounds that uh, make a microphone sound strange. So let's go ahead and listen to it back. And uh, again, let me know what you guys think about the sound of the uh, microphone because that is important. All right, so after listening to that, the microphone sounds decent, but the noise floor is way too high. I can hear a lot of hiss, which was uh, definitely disappointing for me. I would use it maybe for just like a party chat or something like that, but unfortunately, it's not, uh, yeah, it's not really good enough for anything else. It's definitely a step below using something like the Mod Mic 5, which you guys can hear now, which definitely sounds a little bit better. You know, it is only a $70 headset, but uh, it's not really differentiating itself uh, from any other headset in terms of the microphone quality. Now, with all that said, what do I think about this headset? Well, I actually still like it, man. For uh, 70 bucks, I think, uh, you know, you actually get a lot for that. You get uh, a nice build quality on the headset, uh, comfortable. You get 7.1 surround sound, whether you like that or not, a detachable microphone. Uh, you get some software that you can use to EQ the headset. So although the microphone does leave a little bit to be desired, I think overall this is a uh, solid package for the price. And if you just need something to, uh, you know, talk to your buddies on or listen to your game while you're streaming, I think this definitely uh, fits the bill. Maybe you need something for the kids. That's not too crazy. Now, if you need quality on the headphone side as well as the microphone side, then go ahead and stick to what I've been preaching for a while. And that is to uh, just pick up a nice pair of headphones Phones and a separate microphone but again that is probably going to cost you more than 70 bucks so you know do what you can but you guys let me know what you think about these down in the comments below subscribe if you like this type of content or whatever I'm supposed to say there like this video if you haven't already pretty sure I just said that backwards and uh, yeah I'll see you guys next time I'm out of here see you